This week on Daily Architecture News. Occupying a charming old building in Paris, the new Hotel Ludegar is ready to treat visitors to a wild and wonderful joyride. The once abandoned edifice is now well dressed in the signature stylings of its art director, Luke Edward Hall, and offers a bar, restaurant, fitness room and sauna. Not to mention the 40 rooms where guests are warmly invited into the eccentric universe of the British tastemaker. This is the first hotel that Luke has lent his inimitable finesse, and the designer artist has embraced the opportunity with gusto, adorning every moment with a combination of English chic and French soul, amid mind-boggling colour and art deco flair. Design brand Fritz Hansen has released an anniversary edition of the Karamit chair, in celebration of what would have been the designer architect Vico Magistretti's 100th birthday. Magistretti, who was born in 1920, created the iconic cherry red chair in 1959. And while a few minor tweaks have been made to ensure comfort and longevity, the special edition strives to honour the chair's original aesthetic. It's available in high shine red or black, and every piece is individually numbered for authenticity. The second of three spaces designed by Kennedy Nolan for Australian company Laminex looks to reimagine the typical commercial office. Titled Workplace, the prototype flaunts a curated mix of solid colours and natural textures, and a uniquely sculptural approach to form making. The space has two other qualities essential for a fit-out of its kind, a high level of durability and ease of maintenance. Workplace responds to ideas about commercial interior design that are thankfully becoming more prevalent. Most notably, that there's a direct link between comfortable, welcoming, energising workspaces and productivity. Rediscovered in recent years, the BBC documentary Autopsy on a Dream premiered earlier this year. The controversial film is now available for online streaming. Autopsy on a Dream is as extraordinary as its provocative subject matter, the dramatic story of the construction of the Sydney Opera House. Containing a new prologue titled The Dream of Perfection, it tells the fascinating tale of the lost footage and brings the story up to date, featuring interviews with Sir David Attenborough and architect Richard Leplastrier. You can watch Autopsy on a Dream, plus read about all of these stories and more, online now at dailyarchitecturenews.com.